Any questions? Well, Noah, what do you see on this uh, offensive line? Coach Smart talked about the, I guess they got five or six guys back. Pretty experienced. What do you see on film? Um, I've been seeing a lot of good things on film. You know, they're moving people up front, displacement. Um, they, they pick up schemes and twist games really well. And also, you know, a lot of team identities, they run the ball hard, run counter, and that's something that we're looking forward to. And they also do it very well. So. You mentioned counter. Is that, does that require another level of discipline for you to not just chase? Or is that like misdirection? In terms well, of it's also of misdirection. And, it, you know, we know a lot about Bo Nix for over the years of playing him. Mean, he's an amazing athlete. And, you know, he brings that element with his feet and also his arms. So, you know, a lot of guys are we're prepared to serve and we're prepared to, you know, play discipline, like you said. No, what's the uh, impact of having Dan Lanning on the other sideline you know, going up against you guys? Um, I just think, you know, I don't think too much of it. You know, he coached me for three years, and he's an amazing coach, and I know he's going to have those guys fired up and ready to play Georgia. What have you seen from Michael Williams? I guess, one, how much does he spend time with outside linebackers versus the defensive ends? And two, what have you seen from him as he gets more and more comfortable in this defense? Um, I, I think he flies around, plays great football, and he's just a great kid, and he's just ready to learn. And he comes through ready to learn every day. And, you know, I'm excited for all our young players. You know, they get an opportunity to showcase, you know, what they've been doing for 14 days. And Michael Williams and a lot of the new freshmen they're going to see. Cedric was saying he, like, being around older players is making Michael more comfortable. What is your role in that? How much have you kind of been taking him uh, under your wing? Uh, I usually just tell all our young players, calm down and play football. It's the same football that you play since you was a little boy. So don't think too big of it, too little of it. It's just still, at the end of the day, it's a game, and we're supposed to enjoy and have fun. No, and we've spent a lot of the summer talking about the inside linebackers and how important it is for those guys to step up. Just what have you seen from that entire group getting ready for the start of the year? I've seen great things from that entire group, from the freshmen all the way to the seniors, from the guys that I came in class with, Tresman and even Ryan Davis. You know, they're taking that extra step and that extra role and getting everyone playing together and playing as a room and also including us. I know. Uh, we say we LBU, so we always try to play together inside linebackers and outside linebackers and just really, you know, play under Coach Schumann and Coach DeRive the way that, you know, they have an idea for us to play. What does Robert Beal bring to that outside linebacker room? Man, big beefy, man. He brings a lot of things <laughs> for, for me as far as being my friend, you know. He's it's like me and Adam situation, and it's just me and beefy. And, you know, I love working with him day in and day out, and I think – you know, he brings a lot to my game as far as he pushed me to be better. And we just push each other day in and day out to compete. And also, even with Warren Brent, I mean, um, Warren McClendon and um, Broderick, you know, our tackles, you know, we try to tell them, Let, let's go today, let's get it done. Mm. What, are you, what are you expecting out of this Georgia defense? I mean, I, I play on the Georgia defense. I'm not expecting anything. I'm expecting that we, we show connection. One, you know, this the game is meant to have fun. And it's nothing to show me. I'm just a player, and I just want to have fun with my guys and all 11 guys playing the same call, 11 hats to the football, us swarming and flying in connection. That's the only thing that I can control. Are you all sort of uh, motivated or pushed, though, with all the guys you lost and people expecting the defense to drop off a bit? I obviously, I'm sure you, you guys don't see it that way. No. I mean, you can look at it. I, I've been a Georgia fan all my life, and that's one thing that's been great around here is Georgia defense. So I'm 100% not worrying about a drop off. Again, like Coach Smart said, it's a standard just because we had a lot of guys leave last year. It's a standard of Georgia defense, and we play at a high level. What's well, different yeah. about this defense compared to this time last year? Um, I say the only the only difference is that you know guys are still trying to you know figure things out because we still still do have a lot of young players, but we have a lot of older guys that are telling them like you can lean on me, come to me, ask me questions because you know they just have certain questions because they haven't been there or seen those things, and it's not even that the physical or they're not capable. It's just they have questions and they're still learning. Playing next to a guy like Jalen Carter on the inside, what does that do for your game, especially knowing that he is such a game wrecker that he is? It takes it takes my game to the next level just because I know what I'm going to get from JC every play, day in and day out. And, you know, a lot of people say it's the, that connection piece. Mm -hmm. I mean, I can shoot him a non verbal I can look at him and he know what I'm thinking about before we even snap the ball and we're on one page together. No, and what stands out to you about this Oregon offense? You guys going to be going to Man, they have a really great offensive line. You know, that's going to be the challenge for us. That's the best part of their group, and we identify that. And like I said, they run counter very well. They can run a lot of zone plays and a lot of zone stretches very well. So I'm very excited about that and ready to, you know, go against their offensive line.
With all the veterans y'all lost from last year, is there a little different dynamic this fall in terms of older guys bringing younger guys along, whereas last year there was kind of experience at every position? Um, no, I wouldn't say that. I'll just say, like I said earlier, you know, a lot of the young guys just have questions that they have to ask. They've never seen certain formations or certain things like that. And that's just, it's just typical. I mean, high school football, you know, they're not doing Husky. They're not doing Trojan. They're not doing unbalanced all the way over there where they're from. So it's just learning those little things. And I mean, they're picking up really quick and they're being really attentive, showing up to extra meetings and stuff like that. Will the defense look any different to, to most people since you obviously lost so many players? Different numbers. <laughs> different numbers. Mm -hmm. Different people in different spots with different numbers. That's all, that's like, all I'm going to say. Plug and play. I, like I said, you know, Georgia's defense, it's been, since I was a little boy watching Jarvis Jones playing, it's mm -hmm. always been like a high level of which Georgia defense play. People came to see Georgia defense, you know, often sell tickets, defense win games. And that's the ultimate reason why I came here. I want to play for a great defense that was known all over. Hey, Nolan, how different do you expect the Knicks to look? I mean, is there any differences you think they can see from them compared to Auburn? What did you guys do? How you guys for him a little maybe? Well, I, I'll say the difference that he's in also a new scheme. I never seen him in this in this scheme before, and he's learning new plays. So is so is us. And the three times that I've seen him, you know, he's dynamic and electric, and I expect to see the same things from him just out of a different offensive scheme. Having matched up against Georgia's tight ends in practice a bunch, how important is are those guys, Brock Bowers, Darnell Washington, or what you guys want to do offensively and be as a team this year? Man, it's a three-headed monster. I mean, you go from a reek, covering a reek, then you got to go fight Darnell down there in the box, but also Darnell, they'll shift out. And I mean, I, I just say Coach Martin is having a field day just because, man, they do all type of things with our tight ends, and they're all really good in space, out of space, inside the box, blocking with their hands. And I, I give a shout out to my dog, Coach Hartley, man. He does a great job with those guys every day, and he push them. Shout out, tight and tough. <laughs> Ellen, what does it do just as a player to have a marquee game to open the season? I mean, something you guys have been able to look forward to you know, as you guys have been preparing for a new season. I mean, it's something. It's something always to get excited to. But I just think of like this. You know, I got 15 more, 15 more, hopefully 15 more opportunities to wear that Georgia G that I've always been a part of and always been a dream. So it's just not the first game. It's the second game, third game, and we take the same approach, not only just for the first one. Noel, have you seen any differences in Stefan um, for the first time since he's been here and the 100 years he's been here and he's actually coming in as the starter this year? Have you seen anything from him different? Man, that boy quit. He outran, he outran a couple of us early on in practice when a lot of people were fresh, but I, I say he's faster, he's faster, stronger, and I just think he has that confidence level that, and shows that the team's behind him. No one's there a different vibe going into this year than past years. It seemed like it was all about, I gotta get off, gotta get the championship. Different vibe now. No, I wouldn't say it's a different vibe. I say, like Coach Mark said, we're hungry. And I feel like our young guys are hungry just because a lot of people, you know, doubt them and say that it's going to be, is it going to be a difference or is it going to be a different change of numbers and stuff like that. And I'm just really excited to see that kick off in those first couple plays. Speaking of that, how valuable is, for some of the young guys, like maybe some sophomores or something like that, how valuable is the experience they got last year playing under such an experienced group? Um, I'll, say, I'll say it took it to a different level just because, you know, it's Sori, you can take an example like Sori. Sori is an amazing player and as like he got to sit back and watch last year, I think he can help us tremendously this year. If you, if you had to play on offense, what position would you be in? Oh man, I'll say I'll be a fullback just because I, I don't have good hands and I'm <laughs> physical and I know a lot of them are in state and I told Coach Monkin if he ever need a big F back to come through, insert the hat, I'm down. No, when you talked about Oregon's offensive line, what kind of confidence do you have in y'all's defensive line going up against that group? Well, I say our defensive line has also a lot of experiences, and Coach Scott just prepares us every day. You know, I work with a little bit of both, and I just feel like the preparation that we have every day, the keys and stuff, and obviously we know that's the strength of our team, and we're happy to accept that challenge. Going back to my Cal, how two more questions. Going back to Mike Hill, how much does he work with y'all at the outside linebacker, and how much is he working with the guys at defensive end? I'm, I mean, you know, he's going to play the role of, I think, Tra Trayvon Walker, just to me, just from seeing him. And he, 
He's a spitting image of Trayvon Walker. I tell people that all the time. His arms are long, he moves just as fast, and he's a great athlete. So I think as far as people worrying about him doing both, I think that's what he likes to do. And he's he can play linebacker, stand up, and he can play also hand down. Anybody else? Thank you, Nolan.